everyone, this is Vera and welcome to Vera's Violin Review, where today we're going to talk about scales. No, 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 not reptile scales, but music scales. You know, do, re, mi. Still a little fuzzy on what exactly is a scale. Okay, let's take a look at this picture. So think of a musical scale, the same way we think of climbing up and down a mountain, scaling up and down in big and sometimes little steps. In a musical scale, we have eight steps and we start and end on the same note. So take a look at one of Vera's scale pages. Whew, whew, look at all this notes. Ooh. Now that was the scale you just heard. That's the, the scale B major in three octaves. Notice the key signature. Does that give you chills? So let's take a little of the doom and gloom out of practicing scales in awkward keys. I know that B major scale looked bad and yeah, five sharps is an awkward key. It's a little bit like stepping on a landmine. But once you know the pattern of a major scale, you can apply that formula to any scale and navigate it so much easier without worrying so much about which sharp is, is which. So let's take a look at the formula. Come on over here to my keyboard. And to make this even easier, I'm coming over to the piano. Even if you don't play piano, it's going to make a lot more sense when you can see a scale right in front of you and the keyboard is, is no better way. So in the on the piano, this is my note C. That's the same as your third finger C on the G string if you're a violin player. So a one octave scale would be C, D, E, F, G, A, E, C. And coming back down. So easy on the keyboard. No sharps, no flats. It's just all of the white keys here. On piano, these are the in-between notes. You'll notice on the piano, between the C, D, E, and the F, there is no black key. That is already what we call a half step. Same here, the B and the C, there are, there are no black keys, it's just a natural half step. So the pattern of our scale in C major is, here's our C, we've got a whole step, a whole step. Now, there's no black key here, so that is just a half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, and half step. That's all there is to it. So on the piano, our first scale is usually the C major scale because that's the easiest one on the piano keyboard to play. No sharps, no flats. But on the violin, when we're first starting out, we usually start with the D major scale because that fits the pattern of our tapes on the instrument. So let's try the formula. It's the same. Now, cellos, basses, you're going to have a different fingering because your steps are bigger, but the, the pattern is the same. So it's starting on the open D to the whole step E. The second finger is an F sharp in the G. Fourth finger A, whole step away, or open A. The whole step. And so now if I want to start on another note, let's take that B major for example. Right now we started on C and our pattern was whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. I'm going to take that same formula and I'm going to start on the note B. And here is, I need a whole step, now I need another whole step. Here's my half step here. And oops, I need a whole step. Whole step. Whole 
step, and now my half step, bringing us back to B. Now, what was the key signature? How many sharps did I just play? Let's try it again. If you counted five, you were correct. That is how we get the key signatures in our scales that we play. So now I'm going to try this B major scale on the A string today because the finger pattering is the same on both strings. So I'm using my first finger B. I'm not even worried about the key signature. I'm placing a whole step away, another whole step, and now the half step, which is the E. Or open E. Now first finger E on the tape, which is F sharp, G sharp, and now another whole step away. That's my pattern. I can do that here too. So easy if you just remember the formula. So remember it's whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And you're done. Try this at home in your practice. Try it on any note until you get used to the pattern and used to hearing what the scale sounds like. Okay, that's Vera's violin review tip for today. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another episode. Thank you.